This is our 114 litre 25 gallons minimum to water line loft cold water tank. It comes in three formats, round, square and rectangular. Dimensions for the round tank, diameter 690 millimetres, 27 and a quarter inches, height 575 millimetres, 22 and three quarter inches. Low level rectangular tank dimensions are length 1390 millimetres, that's 54 and three quarter inches, width 500 millimetres, 19 and three quarter inches, height 310 millimetres by 12 and a quarter inches. Square tank dimensions, length 711 millimetres, 28 inches. Width 515 millimetres, 20 and a quarter inch. Height 500 millimetres, 19 and three quarter inches. Carefully cut the security strap holding the lid of the tank. Remove the kit from outside the tank and remove the contents from the plastic bag and spread them out in front of you. Check to make sure you have all the contents to proceed and there's nothing missing. Familiarise yourself with the individual items and the fittings. Reading carefully and understanding the instructions is the best protection from costly mistakes. Mark the first of a series of holes. First the ball valve. This hole is situated 60mm from the top of the tank. Mark the hole to be drilled with a light marker or crayon. Do not use any scribe or sharp instrument whatsoever. Make a mark for the warning pipe hole. This should be 90mm from the top. Using a sharp 22mm hole saw, drill the hole for the bore valve. Use a 27mm hole saw for the warning pipe. Offer up and mark holes for the breather and vent. Using a sharp 27mm hole saw, drill the holes for the breather and the vent. Turn the tank around and mark the hole for the outlet pipe. This hole should be 50mm from the base. Drill using a 29mm hole saw. This is the hole for the 22mm compression tank connector, which will be the inlet and outlet and creates a circular flow of water inside the tank. Having transferred the tank into the roof space with all the holes pre-drilled, Firstly, insert and fasten the 22mm compression tank connector. The rubber washer fits internally and the plastic washer externally. Assemble the outlet pipe. Take your ball valve, attach the 4.5 inch float and assemble into the tank. Pass the brass connector through and attach the ball valve backplate to the outside face of the tank. This backplate is designed to spread the load and the continually moving ball valve as the tank empties and fills. Now assemble the screened elbow filter mesh warning pipe into the other hole. This warning pipe accepts any 22mm overflow pipe including copper or brass. Push fit the dip tube internally into the elbow. Fit the screwed breather assembly. Fit the screwed vent pipe sleeve for the expansion pipe. Now connect the 22mm warning pipe to the screen warning pipe elbow, ensuring the warning pipe accommodates incoming supply. Attach the cold water pipe to the surface valve connection and tighten, ensuring fittings are held firm while tightening. Do not over tighten. Turn on the cold water supply stop cock which is usually found under the kitchen sink. Turn the service valve using a screwdriver to the on position which is in line with the water flow. As the tank fills, check all around for leaks using eye and hand. Click down the lid, add the insulation jacket provided with the tank kit, wrapping the larger section all around the tank, fasten the insulation using the ribbon provided Use the smaller insulating piece provided for the top of the tank. The pack contains snap-on poly lid, poly tank bylaw 30 kit and fitting instructions. Half inch BS1212 part 2 ball valve and 4.5 inch float. Ball valve pack plate, 22mm compression tank connector, 15mm by half inch angle service valve, insulation and ties.